First off, it's all about the U. Let's look at the next opponent, the sixth part of the 12 part video series. The UCF Golden Knights on October 17th at 7.30 p.m. and can be seen on, on CBS College Sports. Here's the thing with the UCF Golden Knights under George O'Leary. I, I, used, I used the analogy of the Paul Abdul song. There's a verse in there of opposites track called One Step Forward, Two Steps Back. That's been UCF's MO the last under George O'Leary. If 2009 is any indication, this team's going to have a very, very good year. Now, offensively, they'll have a new offensive coordinator in Taft who's been around the game for a while, and they do bring back Rob Calabrese, a quarterback, and they will run the pro set this year. But keep an eye on a little option because you might see that, and we may see that when we go up there on the 17th. But we got to watch Bryn Harvey because he's their, he was their best runner last year. They returned 10 starters from last year. But here's the big one here. None of them are seniors. None are seniors. Okay. And if they take it back, they only have one senior. One senior, and that's Bustillo. Okay. But they have depth at wide receiver, but they don't have much of it, though. But most of their team, their returners, are either redshirt freshmen or, or sophomores. Okay. Defensively, they're going to have a whole new secondary. You know, Joe Burnett's gone. And three other of their, their better players from last year are gone. So they're going to break in a whole new set of players in the secondary. And that's their weak point. But their front seven is, when healthy, outstanding. And something we are going to have to be very, very aware of in this game. Especially, first let's talk about the defensive line. Miller and Troop. Miller outside, Troop inside. But the bigger threat is, is Troop on the inside. 6'3", 315 pounds, possible first day pick in the NFL draft. This kid this kid demands double teams, so Figs, Franklin, and Trump are going to have their hands full with him, and we're going to have to do a very good job of protecting Ja'Cory on the inside. And they have two other players that could take advantage of those double teams, and Timmons on the inside and, and Williams, on, Williams on, the other, on Miller's other side. The linebackers, when they're healthy, you know, like our linebackers, they're very, very good. They have Young back, who was their who, had, who was their leading tackler last year, and they also along with Hogan Richards, who were hurt, and they played very sparingly. But when, like I said, when they're healthy, they're outstanding, and they don't skip a beat with Henderson as Hogan's backup, who's supposed to be very, very good from what I hear. On special teams, Burnett's gone, but they do have a decent kick and punt returner in Kymus Williams. But let's make no mistake about it, folks. He's no Joe Burnett. Joe Burnett, as we saw last year, hurt us, in spe hurt us on special teams with a, t with a return for a touchdown. So we, that's one less we have to worry about. However, their kick coverage, is, especially on punts, was outstanding last year. They only allowed four yards per return on punts. So let's, let's make no mistake. Field position is going to be critical. Critical in this ballgame. Now, from our perspective, yes, we will get to Calabrese, our D-line will. And you can bet Whipple's going to exploit that our, their secondary all game long, especially their inexperience. But let's not underestimate them. As I said, we need only remember last year at Dolphin Stadium. That's all we need to remember. These guys pushed us to the brink, but we held on to win. But we need to make an absolutely loud and clear statement that this year, we need to go up to Orlando to Bright House and take care of business. Okay, Their offense gets a 4.9, their defense a 5.8, special teams 5 out of 10. Overall, I'm going to give them like a 5.2 out of 10. Because when you look at them, this is a very young team. Defensively, they're, they're, very, they're very good defensively, but offensively, they're very, very young. Very young. When I look at UCF this year, I could see them having a rebound season. And I could see them maybe winning maybe eight, nine games. I'm going to go with UCF 9-3 and three in 2009. Next part, we'll be talking about the Clemson Tigers. As always, go Canes.